how's it going ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the Wong's channel today we're going to be building the xg the origin the zakutu red comet version so this is a new release with a machine gun basically that's how i put it and um <clears throat> so there's a lot of complaint on the original zakutu when it came out as the first kit in the origin series that it doesn't come along with the machine gun uh it, it it does have a lot of complaints so when i just give you a re-release of with a machine gun and the machine gun is not just a plain machine gun it comes with the uh i think this the bullet attached to the back but anyways we're gonna take a look at this first so at the side here we can see that um this is some illustration and then we have the pilots you know red have a horn um that's called free time speed um <clears throat> And then this one right here, we have the machine gun. We have this one right here. So this is the thing that I just talk. Uh, it's the bell fed machine gun. And this is the anti-ship rival, the bazooka, and then all kind of hands and markings. And then, you know, we're just gonna quickly open it. Right now, let's take a quick look of the instruction manual and the, man, uh, and the runner. So first we can see this is the cover. And then we have some information down near the specs, the model number, height, uh, overall width and then uh, you know based on the based on the settings in the anime and then there's the english text there uh, you can read it uh, i'm not going to do the reading <clears throat> we'll flip it to the back we can see all kinds of marking uh, introduction and then we have uh, you know all kinds of introduction and the sticker guide we open it we can see the instruction of the all kinds of weapons and also this one is a little bit special it, it like it works exactly like an rg that you have to insert and other piece of uh, little pieces there to just to hold it on the action base and we know we're just gonna quickly look through the instruction manual okay so now it's done so first we're gonna look at the c runner this is all the pipes on the zaku we got the legs legs this is the legs pipe this is the torso and this is the head and then we have a B1 runner, which contains the feet part and torso part, and also uh, the mono eye. This is this is the mono eye, and also the uh, knees part and the arm part. And this is the A2 runner, uh, contains the waist part, um, contains uh, some part of the torso, and then some part of the waist as well. This is a B2 runner. Um, is the backpack and yeah it's mostly the backpack a d2 runner which contains the inner frame of the arms uh some part of the legs as well and then we got an a1 runner which contains a shield the uh i believe this is part of the arms this is the spike shoulders and then we have the head uh we also had the uh shoulders right here and then some hand caps here we have some H3 runner, contains a machine gun. Uh, in fact, actually two machine guns and two thrusters. Uh, this is a OW2 runner, which is the belt, uh, the belt bullet uh, that attach on the backpack. We have a D1 runner. Oops. Uh, we have a D1 runner, which contains the inner frame of the MS as well. This legs part and arms part as well. Uh, we have an E1 runner, which contains the legs part, feet part, um, part of the hands, part of the shoulders, and yeah, but mostly it's on the legs. And lastly, we have a F runner, which contains hands option, uh, bazookas, uh, anti, anti, uh, ship, uh, anti ship gun. And then we have the Heat Hawk two size, two size of the Heat Hawk, which I assume you can choose one of them. <clears throat> and yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we have uh, very basic poly caps and one stick, one large sticker, which looks like an RG sticker, but it's not. Um, it contains the mono eye and contains the marking on the gamba. So, you know, guys, let's not talk too much. Let's jump straight to the build.
Hey guys, welcome back to the review of these uh, Shaw Zagu 2. So this is the finishing project. And um, I also need to say though, this gamma, uh, it is pretty beautiful for a XG. And I also think for a details, the Origin series never let you down on the details of the gamma. But one thing that I'm very, you know, um, disappointing about is the waist got the same problem. Like the RG is so shaky. And I actually, oh, I'm, and I'm always, you know, worrying about it's going to pop out in no time. And, you know, this is my complaint about the XG and the RG as well. Well, so, so, um, overall, I think this camera is doing a very good job. The details on it is amazing. And the color separation on it is doing a very good job, except just a couple of parts. You might need to use a gun marker to, you know, uh, kind of fill out the spot for yourself. But other than that, it's pretty fine. And also the tube right here. It's always one thing that I talk about. It's just so shaky. It's so sloppy on the legs here. But overall, it's an XG, so I can't complain too much. But anyways, uh, let's dive straight in, and we will talk about the details later. First, we're gonna talk about the head. So the head uh, can move, can move side to side as well. It's a ball joint on the neck, and this head is look. It just it doesn't work like an RG, but it does have a small piece here that you can move on the bottom. So as you can see, if I if I move this thing, the mono eye will move on the top. So I really think that this part is like the origin Zaku's got the best part. And I actually still, I'm still asking this question. How come the DJ can't do it when a normal Zaku can do this? Well, anyway, the, the Zaku's head is moving pretty freely. And also there's an extended joint so you can move up and down a slightly little more. And you can move the head front and back like this. So overall, I think the head articulation and the function in it is very good now let's look at the chest so the chest right here as we can see we can see a lot of details we can see this small hole right here is actually you have to repaint it to gray in order to see it i believe this is like a submachine gun thing on the chest and um <clears throat> other than that the chest have a very interesting mechanic is the as the shoulders and this chest piece is actually moving together it kind of looks like the x shear the extra mechanic um, that I mentioned before in the RG review and the XG as well. So, you know, the, the arms can rotate around 360 freely and it can bend up to a pretty good angle. Um, it, the hands down here can be moved as well. It can horizontally turn as well. Um, so it does have a, like an RG-ish mechanic where you can expand the top armor, but not really much. Same as the other side as well. And the Shaku, the Shaku shield can move to um, other places. And at the side of the shield, we can see some, you know, um, decal as well. And the, the thing that I don't like, and you know, the whole Saku body can turn 360, absolutely no problem. It can turn 360, absolutely no problem. But the thing is, if you if you if you shake it, you can see it's actually pretty shaky down on the waist here, and it got the same problem just like the RG. The waist is constantly shaking, and it actually feels pretty annoying. Oh, before I move on to the waist, I forgot to tell you that um, the both of the shoulders kind of lift uh, above 90 because they got a separate piece of armor blocking in their way, and also they can move pretty front as well the arms is actually pretty nice and you know move down to the waist uh this to the front waist is a front waist armor is an individual armor so it can move by itself and the side armor here this is the part i don't like it's actually a side skirt but it's a ball joint which is um very limited moving very limited movements and very easy to pop out. So you might want to mess you when you you know messing around with the gunplay you might want to look at the side skirt. Uh the back skirt is absolutely cannot be moved and there's two there's two big, there's two picks here. You normally won't use the top one. You would just use this bottom one to, you know, kind of put the spare, spare am, spare ammo on it like this. Just find a, just find a white spot and then, you know, just put it on like this. And it's not really stable, but that, that's another story. The legs can kick to the front, can kick to the back, kick to the side, and it can bend on a pretty good angle. But drawing, but it's not bending too much, uh, is hardly 90 degrees because the pipe is constantly blocking in the way and you can't really see it. And, but we can see there's like an RG-ish design where the kneecap is actually re-attracting re back to the gambler as well. So, uh, and then we look at the down of the legs here, it's actually a pretty large ball joint. So because there's a piece of armor right here, so you can't really move to the side, you can only kick up and kick down. There's not much to talk about on the feet as well, but overall, but you don't have to, you have to just take a moment to 
you know, appreciate the details on the legs. It's actually pretty nice as well. If you look, take a closer look, it almost looks like an RG type of de uh, details on it, although it doesn't necessarily like RG, but it is it's close enough to be an RG detail. Well, let's just turn around and quickly, you know, take a look of the backpack. The backpack is not actually much to say about because, you know, all Saku backpacks is basically look the same except for the Miley, the, uh, the land miner that I did like a long time ago is a pee band die. Um, <clears throat> and you know, the thrusters down here is a ball joint so you can move freely. And that's pretty much it. There's not much to talk about the, the backpack. Although on the backpack, you can actually store on, you can actually equip a, you can actually equip a little clip here that for the bazooka to lay the store on the gampa. And we also have a, and we also have an extra plug here for you to put in the, um, the machine gun with the bullets, with the bullet tape on later so we can talk about later and now we are moving on to the accessory you know let's start to talk about the accessory so first we have two heat hog one of them you can put on the gunplan and one of them is for display purposes uh to put on to put on the saku is pretty simple you just find it you just find a spot and basically just shove it in and there you go you already put it on like this so it's pretty simple as um you know it's it's pretty simple and the second thing we have is a very is a very typical um saku machine gun and you know the scope can be moved and the handle down here can be moved as well the the magazine can be take off like the x uh the rg ones but is but on the xg one is much tighter and it's pretty hard to take it off so uh, i would try to avoid to break the parts so i would just i, I would just tell you that you can take the you can take the magazine off but just be careful and then the third option is we have this belt type machine gun that which you can connect it on the backpack. You just have to find a spot right here and then just basically plug it in. If I can find a spot, okay, uh, okay, where is it? Yeah, right here. So you can basically just find a spot and then plug it in and then just make the hands hold the um, machine gun. Just give me a minute. I'm just have to take it off right at the moment. So like this, and then next up we have a anti ship, uh, the anti ship rival. Um, so the scope is not movable, and we have a sticker right here, and we can see that it's pr it's a pretty long size. And spoiler alert: when you try to hold it on the saku, it will actually drop, <laughs> because the hand is not supposed to hold something that heavy. And then next up we have a small action base connector right here you just have to put it uh, right between the legs and that's fine and then we have a trigger hand we have an open hand that's it and then lastly we have a bazooka um, we can see that the side of the handle is movable and it's pretty sloppy as well the scope can be moved as well and the handle down here can be moved as well and here's the funny part uh, it actually have the same mechanic like the RG you can take off the magazine and then put it back on and you can hear that clear sound and the model kit come with two more uh, accessory for the uh, for the bazooka ammo, so you can actually put them on the side of the shield, which uh, which you can absolutely have the anime scene where Char ran off the bullet in the bazooka and then just grab one, grab another magazine off the shoulders. So here's the thing: uh, the only the bazooka can be stored on the gunplay itself so it's pretty simple you just have to move away all the oops you just have to you just have to move away uh, all the things and then you just have to find that circle this circle spot right here just plug it in and there you go you can store the bazooka on the backpack but not the anti-ship rival so you have you will have to find another way to contain it and of course, lastly, we have an extra magazine of the machine gun. You can store it on the side skirt or just put it on the back, as I mentioned before. And that's pretty much all the accessory that we got. Um, honestly, though, uh, the comparison between the first release of the Origin Saga 2 is uh, this Saga 2 came with two more machine guns and it got different set of decals. And that's pretty much it. And yeah, that's this is pre pretty much the um, introduction and the review. All right, guys, this is basically the end of the review. And uh, thank you for watching. So the difference between the red common version is they give you two extra um, machine guns, which you can switch around. And they also give you the new set of decals. And basically, it, if you're not really a big fan of Sakus, um, you don't really have to buy this. You can, if you have the 
first release and this is the second release of this Saku uh, basically it said if you someone really like machine guns you can just get another one <laughs> or you can just turn the first one into the build divers uh, ballistic Saku and then you know just buy this new one as your as your new Saku and then just use the origin one to turn into the ballistic Saku with the builder set that's a little bit suggestion of me um, and also I really think though all the Sakus uh, do have one problem is the waste problem and it's honestly pretty frustrating and I really I really hope they can fix this in the future when they have to do the revived version of Sakus like whoever Saku is this is that and that's pretty much it overall I think this is a pretty solid kit and it's pretty good uh, a lot of weapons for you to play around so if you're really if you're someone that like to shoot photos with your gamma I'm definitely recommend you buy one and you won't and you will you will have a very great time you know shoot like 20 photos with different weapons and yeah so thank you for watching leave a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in another gamma review goodbye